Alrighty, now it is time to connect your mail account so you can start sending out some campaigns. So what we're gonna do is we are going to head on over to mail accounts. And we're gonna click this pink add account button in the top left-hand corner of the screen. When you are using Mailshake, you can connect as many mail accounts as you'd like to help handle the sending of your campaigns. Just know that adding an additional mail account does increase your subscription by one user. All right, so you'll see here we have a couple of different connection options. If you have a Google or Microsoft account, we do have a direct integration with those platforms, so you'll be able to pretty quickly um, connect your mail account, and I'll show you what that process looks like. If you have another email provider, totally okay. You can choose to connect with our SMTP connection option. If you are deciding to go this route, just know that you need both SMTP and IMAP uh, to make that work. And I will be showing you how to connect an SMTP account as well. The first mail account I want to connect today, though, is I'm going to do our Google account. So I'm going to click on this option and click connect. And I'm going to select the mail account that I want to connect. And then you're going to see a little notice that is basically just letting you know, like, hey, um, this is you're giving Mailshake permission to send um, emails on your behalf. And you're also allowing Mailshake to check your inbox, which we do need to do so that we can scan your emails for replies to campaign messages, as well as, you know, see if people are asking to be unsubscribed, things like that. So you just click allow and the magic happens and Mailshake will connect your mail account. At this point, you're going to see this pop up. We'll go over setting up your sending calendar rules at a later date. So I'm just going to click on done. And that is how you add your mail account. You're going to see it here. If you click on it, you'll see the option to edit your settings, which is your sending calendar and your signature as well.